completely insane. We've got aces over here, gonna go for the three bet. Um, something like this seems pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that seems that seems pretty good, guys. <laughs> Opens the button with queen nine off, calls the three bet with queen nine off. What is the fairest possible flop you can imagine, guys? Is it nine nine eight rainbow, or is there any others? Is that the only one? And just by the way, just straight rips it, like doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, that's where I am on the cat. I would love to get a cat, but also like, I just don't know what to expect from a new cat. Like, would I get a kitten? Like, there's a guy that I know from from poker, from eight to eight stuff, and from and he, he's Ian's mate, and he's been on Poker Friday before, called Sid. And Sid is a vet, and he gets strays in all the time. And he's already sent me. I said to keep me up to date, and he sent me some strays already. So he's already got some in, like four kittens. I don't know if I'd get a kitten or one kitten or two kittens or whether I should just not at all. Get a three bet here. I don't think I can. Wah. This absolutely sucks. I think I have to jam to realize equity here because there's just too many turns. I think this is actually really bad though. It's actually really bad. I, but I think once I've rolled check raise on flop, it's really, really difficult to do anything but jam because there's already 28 big blinds in there. It, the only the only way I think to avoid that situation would have been to not check raise slot, but I did roll really low for it, low frequency. Right, that feels really bad, but I don't think I can call because I need to see two cards. But the problem is I don't have any bluffs, so I don't have any fold equity. So we're kind of just being like, right, okay, I check raise and I got a three bet, and now I have to just stack off, which feels fucking terrible. I'm struggling, guys. Like, emotionally, I'm not. I'm just not sure I can do this anymore. <laughs> No, I, I, the thing is, if I ran kings into aces, this is what I said. People say they run bad and they say they run kings into aces. I can't even describe the things that happen to me. They don't exist anywhere else. They're only in this vacuum that they happen. I've got top two against the backs. Please have ace king. He's just going to check fold. I have to bet two thirds pot here. He's check called. All right, let's, we're going for the lot here. We have to go for the lot. I mean, he doesn't have a deuce, does he? Because he's the backs. Got a call. I've got I've, guys. This guy's open. This guy's fourteen. I've got a call. Does he have Ace Deuce? I have to call. This is so insane. Okay, thank fuck for that. <sighs> Honestly, I, I I was trying to figure out how many deuces he had. He's like, yeah, he can have Ace Deuce, but like, he might not even call the turn, even though he should, because he's such a stain. So he had to have like two pair minimum on the. Uh, oh God, what is going on? How I, I, I need to snap call that river, and I, I'm, I'm there just thinking, oh, I lost it. But then I figured out that I probably didn't lose. And I was comfortable to call. Do bots exist online? Are they beatable? They probably do exist. And yeah, they're beatable with variance and good play, I guess. But I'll stop to straight here. Uh, went for the small bet on the flop here. I'm going to pop the turn. This is clean as fuck. I uh, could, could jam. They snap called snap call. I think I'm going to check jam, actually. And they tank, this is good news. They're going to have like more ace 10, ace king than they should. And if they have spades and clubs, they may find some bluffs. I pop the turn and they call really quickly. I think they have a lot of like ace 10 and like sets. Yeah, 10s. We have to understand about this type of player. I mean, this is obviously, again, insanely clean, this run out. We have to understand about this type of player and what makes checking so much better against... Because usually you're going to have a lot of people that are going to have a lot of checkbacks, like regs and stuff are going to have a lot of checkbacks here. But this guy's flat in the button with 10s, guys, because he's a stain, as we have him stain tagged. So this guy is going to have way more sets and two pairs than... Because he'll flat king 10, he'll flat 10s, he'll flat ace 10. So when you, when you check the river, he's going to have a lot more reopens than regs do. Um... Therefore, you get to check jam a lot more. And check jamming for me is really good because people never think I have anything. But today I do. So unlucky to them, I guess. So they found the one day that I have anything. <laughs> Picking up the aces down here. And we get a stain opening under the gun. We are going for the three bet. We'll let you know. Pretty fucking clean flop. This guy's not going to be opening any 3x under the gun. Maybe ace three at clubs. Probably won't call a three bet. But what I can see. Uh, just going to go for a big bet. This is a fucking horrendous turn. I'm not really sure, guys, what to think about this. I'm going to call. That's a fucking phenomenal river, guys. Jesus Christ, I'm absolutely drilling these rivers. 
he's so well he's not dead he's got the the steel wielder on the turn but like I, I, people that are, have got really stainy stats guys today just coming out with absolute nonsense left right and center and i love to see it because i just have i just have a boat every time it's class why can't i just do this at like 50 and l or something it's always a fucking 25 and l i just have the nizzies in every spot look i've got the nizzies again well not nizzies but it's pretty good hand. it's just absolutely disgusting what i deal with Fuck you, Alex. Not a bad flop, though. Am I dead? What is this fucking two-thirds donk? I'm not slow playing this hand. If I'm dead, I'm dead. Whatever. Just is there anything? Is it? Would there be any other flop here? Hold. Let's fucking go. Jesus Christ! I didn't feel that one coming. You know, I was like, as soon as I saw I was winning, I was like, that's okay. That's good. <laughs> that guy, by the way, is a complete whopper. Thank fuck for whoppers, guys. Otherwise, where on earth would I be in this challenge? Jesus Christ. 85% equity is just about enough for me to hold, I think. Yeah, I, I, can't, I, need, to, I need to stop opening hands. I need to stop opening hands. Just remind myself what I'm doing here. I'm not playing the same game as everyone else. So I need to be very, very fucking careful. Pure ripping this. I don't know this player. I think they might be a bum hunter, but I'm just not sure who they are. Hold, please. Oh, mate, honestly, I can't, I literally, I just, I, I, I've never been, I've never been so certain in my fucking entire life that there's going to be a, a, a certain river on a, I've never been so sure in my fucking life that I'm going to lose a hand on the turn. Never been so sure in my fucking life. It's just fucking absolutely insane, man. Absolutely insane how, how sure I am that I'm going to be dead. Like, I'm positive fucking certain i'm dead it's just uncanny it's completely miserable but we're back i don't know who this is but we'll three bet obviously pretty good flop i think we're just going to 2e here <sighs> just guys i can't tell you did you hear me sigh on the turn i can't tell you Guys, I'm, I don't know if anyone will ever believe me. I can't tell you how, how much I know that I'm going to lose. I really don't think you understand. Like, I honestly don't think you understand. Like, I am, I'm, I'm in these situations and I'm, it's like I can see the river before it's dealt. I'm, I'm serious. I'm, I'm honestly not joking. Like, it's really fucked up. I already know what's going to happen before it happens. It's fucked. There's no way that I should be able to know these things. What is going on? Yeah, more evening streams. Hopefully some, therefore, like some 100 and L in the evening. At least some 50 and L, obviously. Jesus Christ. I keep smacking the shit out of every flop. This is really strange. I'm just going to raise. This guy's fit. This is the same guy with the queen nine. So <laughs> hopefully I get it back. Um, just, just this is whatever. He's not going to fold this turn ever. He'll only jam or, or call this player. He says as he tanks into time bank, which usually means fish fold. Yeah, there we go. No, no worries, guys. <laughs> right, well, I don't think I don't think they're going to be bluffing, but just in case, we'll let the, we'll let a card come off. Just in case, just in case. Yeah, they were they were bluffing, guys. There is something to be said for the fact that they're never going to bluff for the last third pot. But the problem is, if they ever do, it's better to call because I'm not going to. It doesn't matter what the river is. I'm never folding. <laughs> Queen seven offsuit, sir. Okay. That was the guy with the queen on off from before. What the actual fuck was that? They min three bet, called a raise, check raise the turn, and then check called the river for a third pot. I mean, we take it, guys. <laughs> I've never ever been in like a live situation where I've won, where I've like spiked something against somebody. It's never once happened in my entire career. And, like, and people do it to me every time. I've never called at anyone in anything. It's just, it's just so weird. If there was, like, karma in the universe, that would make a lot of sense. But I don't believe in that shit. But, like, maybe I should start to. Honestly, it's just the fucking freakiest shit I've ever seen. I just don't call the people. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> so fucking weird. Okay, come on, let me call this guy. Let me moan this one in. Who knows how long I'll live for, Tucky. But it keeps going like this. This guy gonna find a check or what? I'm not jamming. Just jamming. Because this value range is like hard, for, it's, it's a hard range for fish to fold, right? An ace or a flush is a really hard hand for a fish to let go on this board. 
So the hands that want to bet for value for this size, they really don't ever want to fold. I don't know what to say anymore, guys. I really don't know what to say anymore. This guy, by the way, he played, he's played 20 hands ever. He's got a 35%, 35-15-0 over 20 hands. Just a complete nobody. And I'm, I'm in the middle of a speech. I'm in the middle of a speech how I never call anyone. I only get called. Like, this, 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 it just does not, does not, like, if anyone else is in the situation I'm in, would anyone, would anyone, like, not question, like, what, would you not question it? All I'm getting is reaffirmation from the deck. Like, all I'm getting is reaffirmation from the deck. It's completely, in, it's completely insane, guys. It's completely insane.